All right, just over after 8 a.m. Happy Monday. Glad to have everybody in here. Uh, so if you have not ordered your resistance bands, uh, I hope they've come in because we're going to start with resistance bands tomorrow. Uh, if you need to order bands, you can go on to codegreenfitness.com, click on resources, and then under resources, you're going to click on resistance bands. That will take you to the resistance band store. At the minimum, you want the, um, I think it's the gym to go package. It gives you an orange, a red, a black, and I believe a purple band. Uh, it'll come with a strap and a dynamic stabilizer. So that's the minimum, right, in order to get through this, this next month worth of workouts. Okay, so let's take it down on our hands and knees. Let's go up uh, cats and cow pose. We'll start our warm up routine. All right, so we're gonna take a big inhale, squeeze those shoulders back, and then exhale on the cat. Separate those shoulder blades. Deep inhale, shoulders back, chin up, and then exhale. Sucking that tail going under, drawing those abs into you. And going with your breath here. Three, and inhale. And exhale. Gonna do three more. Really working that spine. One. Two. And one more time. And exhale. All right, take that right leg off to the side. Adductor, inner thigh stretch. Lean back, turn the toes up. Shift the weight forward, roll the heel over the toes. If that bothers your hip, don't do that. Just what we can do is just rock forward and back, right? If you have any hip issues. Otherwise, let's do that full rotation, toes up as you lean back. Walk forward, roll that heel over, and take it back. Get that good stretch. Let's go one more time. All right, take the left leg out to the side and lean back, turn the toes up. Roll, walk forward, roll that heel over the toes. Two. Just going with your breath. Inhale back. Exhale, bring it forward. And two more. And last one. All right, let's bring that right knee and right foot forward for pigeon pose. All right, I know it's a bit really tight in the hips lately, so I'm just gonna work on stretching these hips a little bit more. So we can kind of fold forward and then press back up, shift those hips back, really get into that right glute. All right, one more time. All right, now let's bring the left knee left foot forward. Reach that right leg back. So get into that stretch, fold forward, and then press it up. So when I'm pressing up, I'm shifting those hips back each time, or at least having the intention of sitting back and getting a better stretch. Let's go one more time. Lying on our stomach, alternating scorpion stretch, hands under the shoulders, pull that left foot back, let the hips rotate five times each side. One, two, I'm right, we'll try to bring that toe back and tap the floor. Three, four. Five. All right, let's press it up into a down dog. Let's go for your giant bummer push ups. Okay, five reps. All right, let's pedal it out first. Drive the heel down, bend the opposite knee. Let's alternate. Push it down through the palms, heads between the arms, pressing that tailbone to the sky. All right, press both heels down, and let's pull ourselves down and through. Shoulders back, 
Twist the hips, draw the abs and press back, drop the heels, pull down and through, twist the hips, press it back, two. Shoulders back as we twist those hips. Three, we got two more. Pull down and through. And twist. And last one, pulling down and through. And twist, press back to that down dog. Lift up that right leg and step it forward for dragonfly. So we want to be on the outside edge of that right foot. Inhale, reach under. Exhale up. Five reps. Four. Going with your breath. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. All right. Step that foot back. Bring that left foot forward. Again, we're on the outside edge of the left foot. So we're pushing the left knee out to the left. Bend the right knee as I reach towards the right hip. Straighten the leg out as I come up into the rotation. Breathe in and reach under. Breathe out as you come up. Two, three, big rotation. Four, and last one. And five. All right, step it up, bootstrappers. Grab the tops of your feet, squat down. All right, so weights on the heels. All right, one arm pushed against the inner thigh, the other arm. We're going to lift up and then pull and squeeze the shoulder back. So we're going to alternate, you can do a rotation with this, and then forward fold. All right, squat back down. Arms on the inside of the legs. Lift up and then squeeze and pull the shoulder back. So we're going to go do a rotation, interlace those fingers and forward fold. Two. Again, stay on the heels. Rotate, squeeze the shoulder back. All right, looking up that arm towards the ceiling. Forward fold. Three. Squat back down. Alternating arm raise. And forward fold. And one more time. Squat down. Alternating arm raise with the rotation. Forward fold. Straighten out that back, hips back. Slowly stand up. All right, very good. So, feet shoulder width apart, right? Hands out in front, chest out, shoulders back. We're going 20 squats with a rotation, okay? So we're gonna inhale, sit, exhale up, twist, twist. We're gonna take it down, up, twist, Twist two. So what I want you to focus on at the top, tight glutes, tight thighs, so the hips are not twisting. Okay? We don't we just want the torso to turn to work on that upper body mobility. All right, weight, we're driving through the heels, thighs and glutes tight at the top. All right? Keeping those hips. Squared up, straight ahead. Breathe in on the way down. Now as you come up, halfway. Get those legs warmed up. I know, good work. Squeeze those shoulders back. They're gonna start popping up on you as they get tired. Remember, tight glutes and thighs at the top. Good posture. Take it straight ahead. Five more. There's one. Two. Three and two more. Four, last one. All right, now we're working on single leg deadlift. All right, so I'm gonna stand on my right leg, shoulders back, chin back, 
I'm looking two to three feet in front of me, find that focal point. All right, we're gonna go 12 reps. Shift the hip back, push down through the heel, bring those hips forward. So you can have the hands on the hips, hands at your side, arms out to the side, hands behind your back. Totally up to you. All right, whatever you're comfortable with. But really, let's work on staying, keeping our balance. So I want the left toes pointed down at the floor. Okay, we want to keep those hips squared up to the floor. You're doing 12 reps. And keeping those shoulders pulled back. Good posture. If your foot starts to roll to the outside, push down on the big toe. Let's focus on using those hamstrings to pull you back up and get into those that glute. And we're breathing in as we're going down. Breathe out, coming up. Got two more. And keep those shoulders back. Good, and go ahead and shake it on out. All right, switching sides. So I'm on the left side, then shoulders back. Find that focal point, 12 reps. Let's restart really there. Keep those abs engaged. Help keep that core engaged. Then focal point, two to three feet in front of you. Down on the ground. That way you're not lifting the chin as we go down on the single leg deadlift. So slower and more can, and under more control is better. This is not a race. Again, if your foot's rolling to the outside, push down the big toe. Keep a lot of the weight towards the heel. And shoulders back. The leg that's elevating is straight, and those toes are pointing straight down to the floor. That helps keep everything squared up. Breathing in on the way down. All right, let's get that last one. All right. We'll take you down to the floor for push-ups, all right? So lay down, bring the hands under the shoulders and squeeze the elbows in and shoulders back, all right? This is how I want your push-ups for this round, okay? So we're gonna come up, shoulders back, hands engaged. So this is what it looks like at the end, all right, we're pushing here. So I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. You're gonna do as many reps as you can. Ready, set, go. So breathe in on the way down, breathe out as you push it back up. And of course, these can be done from the knees. That's the modified. So I did a lot of this foundational stuff today. Keep those elbows in. So the crease of your elbow, right, should be pointing forward to the front of the room the entire time. Get as many reps as you can get in. Got another 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Then we're gonna go bicycle crunches. So you're gonna turn over onto your back. All right. Let's elbow to the opposite knee. All right. We're twisting that upper body. Okay. All right. We're going one minute on the clock. Ready. Begin. Sixty seconds. Bicycles. Twisting. Working those abs. All right. If you feel your lower back. Keep your feet up higher off the floor. Okay. 
So keep working it halfway. Extending the leg. Good rotation. Upper body rotates and twists. All right through that burn. You got 15 seconds to go. Keep moving. 10 seconds. A little bit less. And finished. We're going to turn over onto our stomach. We're going to work on spinal extension, right? So we're basically going to make a W with our arms, right? So if we took our arms straight out to the side, making a T, we bring the hands in slightly, elbows we pull down and back. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to lift. I'm going to squeeze the shoulders back, pull the hands and elbows and fingers back. We're going to hold for three, two, one, come down. Now we're going to do 10 reps there. All right. So from the side, here we go. Ready? And lift. One, two, three. There's one. And lift. One, two, three. There's two. And lift. One, two, three. There's three. And lift. This is the exhale. Two, three, four. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale, come up. One, two, three, five. So it's just the upper body we're moving. Lower body stays on the floor. Two, three, six. And up. One, two, three, seven. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you come up. Pull those shoulders back away from the ears. Eight. Got two more. And up. One, two, three, nine. And last one. Lift it up. One, two, three. There's ten. Sit back in child's pose. We're going to take a couple breaths here. Take that pressure off the back. All right, now we're going to stand it on up and go to one leg squats, okay? So, if I'm standing on the right leg, we'll lift this left knee, Ooh. lift the left leg up, All right? Abs are drawn in, good posture, shoulders back, focal point, two to three feet in front, hands at the side, hands on the hips, wherever you're comfortable with it, just keep the shoulders back. Hinging at the hips, sitting back, chest over the knee, push through the heel and come up. Flex the thigh and the glute, just like we did with the regular squat with the twist. So we're doing 12 reps. Inhale down, exhale up, right? We want to get that butt down and back. Press through the heel and come up. Breathing in on the way down. Breathe out and come up. Really try to keep that weight towards the heel. Right, we're hinging at the hip, not flexing at the spine. Okay, so I just want you to sit back and hinge. As soon as you feel like you're gonna fold forward, that's where you stop. Again, we're going 12 reps. I'm letting that left leg move back as I hinge forward. Keeping the shoulders back, core engaged. All right, I got, I'm figuring two more. The last one. And shake it out. All right, let's switch legs. Okay. Again, hinging at the hip, find that focal point. 12 reps, breathe in, sitting down, breathe out, flex the quad and the glute. Slowly moving it down. Exhale, bring it up. So if you're having trouble with balance, we take that right foot, right? And we put it down like a kickstand. It's just there for balance. So at most, 10% of our weight on it. Okay? That way we're really emphasizing 
this front leg or the left leg. Push into the heel. Flexing the quad and the glute. Breathing in on the way down. Exhale out. Again, we're going 12 reps. All right, shoulders back, chest out. Hinging at the hip. And we got two more. Ish. Slow and control. All right. Get your 12 and then shake it out. Okay. We're going to go through that circuit two more times. So we're starting with single leg deadlift. All right, so I'm back to standing on the right foot. Shoulders back. 12 reps, a lot of balance today. Inhale down, exhale, bring it up. Again, hands at your side, on your hips, or hands behind your back. Whatever you gotta do to keep your good posture. Just wanna make sure keeping those shoulders back. All right, since I'm in the left toes pointing down at the floor, all right, I shift those hips back. Want to make sure this left leg is not rotating out. So again, 12 reps. Breathe in as we're going down. Feel those hamstrings working as you come up. Slow and control. That's more time, more tension. Those muscles working. When you finish 12, shake it out. I'm on 11. I got one more. Good posture. All right. So there's one side. Let's take it right into the other side. Here we go. Good. You don't want to keep the hips and shoulders square to the floor. Focal point's about three feet in front of us. That way we're not lifting the chin as we're going down. Want the right toes pointing straight down, keeping those hips and shoulders square to the floor. Taking my time. Again, breathing in on the way down. Breathe out as you come up. Core is engaged. Right, I'm just drawing the abs in. Halfway. Nice and slow. Feel those hamstrings pull you back up. Feel that glute work. So we work on our balance. Three more. Down to two. And one more time. All right, shake it on out. Go back down to the floor. So we got push-ups, bicycle crunches, and W's, all right? So hands in close. All right, elbows squeezed in, shoulder blades pulled back. Draw the abs in. Go for one minute, ready. Set and go. 60 seconds of push ups, as many reps as you can do. Again, keeping those elbows in. They're creasing the elbow, just pointing towards the front of the room. All right. We're pressing down through the palms. Now, if you got some trouble with the wrists, push down those fingertips. So, you're pushing those fingertips into the floor, that'll take some pressure. Off the wrist there. So you're breathing in as you go down. Exhale as you come up. All right, let's focus on our posture, keeping those shoulder blades back. Well, abs engaged, just like we're doing a plank. Keep working it. You got 10 more seconds. All right, let's do your best. Take it down as far as you can. 
And last one. Very good. Now let's take you onto your back. Bicycle crunches, so turn it on over. One minute on the clock. Ready, begin. Elbow towards the opposite knee. All right, we're working it. Tucking that chin down towards the chest. So we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Working hard here. Good, we're over the halfway point. We got 20 seconds left. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's turn over for W's. All right, so we're lying on our stomach. All right, legs stay on the floor. Okay, looking straight down at the floor. Ready, and lift and hold. One, two, three, breathe in, come down. Breathe out, lift and hold. One, two, three, there's two. And up, pull those fingers back. Two, three, there's three. And up, one, two, three, there's four. And up, one, two, three, there's five. And up, one, two, three, six. And up, one, two, three, there's seven. And up, one, two, three, there's eight. And up, one, two, three. And one more time, up, one, two, three. Sit back in child's pose. Take a couple breaths. Just take that pressure off your back. All right, stand it on up. Single leg squat, all right? So again, find that focal point two to three feet in front of you. Just hands on the hips or hands at your side, good posture, all right? Abs are drawn in, 12 reps, hinging at the hip, and then standing back up. Slow and controlled, all right? Breathing in on the way down, breathe out as you come up. And we're going to keep those shoulders back, abs engaged. If you need to put the other foot down to help you with your balance, that's fine. We're still on 90% of our weight on that front leg. Halfway. All right, we're sitting down. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you come up. Four more. Getting 12. Flex that quadricep and glute at the top. All right, let's get those 12 reps. After you get your 12, you're going to shake it out. All right. And then we're going to switch legs, 12 on the other side. So keep on that focal point, shoulders back. Hinging at the hip, pushing through the middle of the foot and towards the heel to come back up. Flex that quadricep and glute. And keeping the shoulders back. And breathe with it. Halfway here. That foot's rolling out to the side. Push down the big toe. Got four more. Slow and controlled. Really 
focus on good quality movement. Got two more. And last one. All right, so that's two times now. Got one more time to go. So starting with single leg deadlift, right? Four balance work, 12 reps. Inhale down, so switch legs. Exhale, come up. Inhale down. Pushing through the heel. Keep those shoulders back. Toe pointed towards the floor. Good quality movement. Good posture. Stay focused. If that foot's rolling to the outside, press down the big toe. There we go, we got four more. Should be feeling that glute hamstring here. Remember, good posture. Shoulders back. Abs engaged, hips shifted back. Let's get that last rep. All right, let's switch legs. Shake that out real quick. Here we go, 12 reps. Breathe in. And up. Abs engaged, we want the right toes pointing down at the floor as we lift that right leg up. I'm shifting those hips back, pushing down through the heel and middle part of the foot to stand back up. Really focus on those hamstrings. Squeeze the glute at the top. And we're keeping that right leg straight, meaning we don't want it rotating out. And we don't want that right hip lifting. We're keeping those hips square. We're halfway. Good quality movement. Remember the posture. Hips shift back, push down to the heel. All right, we're going to squeeze that glute as we stand up. Let's feel those muscles working. Two more. And let's get this last one. All right, then we shake it out. All right, coming back down to your mat. Hands under the shoulders. Last set of push-ups here, All right? Crease of the elbow pointing forward. 60 seconds. Ready, set, go. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out as you come up. Again, good, slower is better, good quality movement. Focus on posture, right? Shoulders are back. Good. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale as you come up. As you come down, squeeze the shoulder blades back because your shoulders are going to want to roll forward. All right, keep squeezing the elbows into your side. They should be touching the ribs. We're pushing down through our palms, pressing ourselves back up. All right, let's keep those elbows in. Really get in those triceps. Last one. All right, turn over onto your back for bicycle crunches. One minute. Ready, set, go. Working those abs. Quality movement. Extend the leg. Pull the opposite knee in. Twist. Our torso. Keep the low back against the floor. Uh, 
Work it. Right through that burn. Thirty seconds. That's it. We're over the halfway point. Keep going. You got fifteen seconds left. Right through that burn. Come on. Get it stronger here. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Turn on over. Last set of W's. All right, so face down, keep the legs down. Ready? Up. One, two, three. Breathe in, come down. Breathe out, come up. Pull the shoulders back and down away from the ears. There's two, breathe in. And up, one, two, three. There's three, good. Let's pull those shoulders back. One, two, three, there's four. Exhale, coming up. One, two, three, five. And pull those fingers back, two. One, two. Three, six, and up. One, two, three, seven, and up. One, two, three, eight, and up. One, two, three, nine, and last one. One, two, three, ten. All right, sit back in child pose. Take a couple of breaths there. Looking good. All right, stand it on up. Last set, single leg squat. So find your focal point. Hands on the hips or at your side. Weight on the heel, 12 reps. Sit, and then come up. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you come up. Two. Three. Four. Nice and controlled. Five. We're halfway. Six. And we're gonna push down the big toe a little bit if that foot's rolling out. And we wanna flex the muscles at the top. That's the quadricep. Right, we pull the kneecap up and the glute. Good contraction. Got two more. And last one. Good, shake it out. All right, switch legs. Good posture. All right, sitting down. Coming up. Right, flex the quad and the glute at the top. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you come up. Weight on the heel. Abs engaged. Let's go. Halfway. Nice control. Flex that quad and glute. Three more. Breathe in and out as you come up. Shift those hips back. And last one. Very good. Okay, now we got our uh, finisher here. Five minutes. Five minutes straight, no break. Okay, so. Sagittal jacks, front to back, one minute. Seal jacks, cross over, that's the second minute. If at any point, right, it's bothering your head, your knees, right, we go to calf explosion. 
or toe raises. So we can do it here, right? We can do it here. Then we're down for a plank series. Side plank, side plank, regular plank. One minute each, okay? Again, we're gonna go five minutes straight. Let me get the timer. We're starting with sagittal jacks. Ready and go. Feet forward and back. Arms overhead. Stay on the toes. We're getting the heart rate up for two minutes. Work it, work it. Again, feet front to back. Stay on the toes. Or we can go to toe raises. If you need a modification. You're just going to keep moving. Get five minutes straight. Knock them down one at a time. Good, keep moving. Stay on the toes. Cabs are working. Heart rate's getting up there. Okay, let's go. Set uh seal caps. Crossing the And toe raises or squats. If your calves are dying or your ankle or your knees bothering you. Otherwise, just stay active. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Great. Let's keep it up. Or right, heart rate will start coming down when we get down into planks. So we're going to go side plank, side plank, and regular. Okay, let's take it down for side plank. Up to you which side you want to start on. So we can go right. feet stacked to start with. Separate them if it gets harder. Down to the knee. Ready, set, go. We're up. You can hold the arm up or have it at your side. Either way, shoulders back. Watch your shoulder, hip, knees, ankles. On a straight line, pushing down through the forearm, working on the obliques here, staying up, or halfway through, keep those hips lifted, chest out, shoulders back, hips forward, glutes tight, just a few things to think about in here, remember the modifications if your shoulder can't handle it, we separate the feet, while we take it down to the knee, we just got a little bit longer. Three, two, one. Good. All right, let's turn over to the other side. Got two minutes left in our workout here. Ready? Bring it up. So, again, elbow under the shoulder. Pushing down through the floor. Hips forward, shoulders back. We want those hips off the floor. Working on the obliques here. Shoulder, hip, legs in a straight line. We either have the arm up or at our side. Up to you. Either way, keep those hips up. Keep good posture. Hips forward, glutes tight. Shoulders pulled back. We've got 20 seconds left here. Stay up there, stay up there. Remember the modifications if you need it. Separate the feet or down onto a knee. You've got seven more seconds. Keep those hips up. Fight all the way to the end. 
Okay, regular plank. We're getting right into it. Elbows under the shoulders, hands apart. On those toes, here we go. Tailbone tucked. Let's go feet together. Shoulders back. Hips are even with the shoulders. We hold our head in neutral spine, which means this is bad, hanging the head between the arms. We should have our chin pulled back, looking straight down in between our hands and forearms. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We got 20 seconds to go. Right, belly button below. Pull up and in. Squeeze those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit back in child's pose. Arms out in front. Press those forearms into the floor. Nice deep breaths. Again, pushing those forearms down to stretch the lats. Okay, let's take the right hand on top of the left hand. So we reach across. This gives us a little bit better stretch in the lats. Right, really reach out, across, and then sit back. So we get that good stretch through there. A nice deep breath. Now let's take it over to the right side. So right hand out in front of the shoulder, left hand on top of the right. Pull that left hip back. Reach that left arm forward. All right, so open up the armpit. Get that good stretch in the lats. All right, now let's take it into pigeon pose. So bring that right knee and right foot forward. Reach that left leg back. Good stretch here. And just breathe. So we're holding these for about 30 seconds. Good job. All right, now let's switch. Let's bring the left knee and left foot forward. Reach the right leg back. That's some good foundational work today. So you're not probably not going to get a lot of exercise points through the day, um, you know, because it wasn't really cardio driven. This was more of a strength driven workout. All right, so really worked on balance and leg strength with all that single leg stuff, uh, all, all core stability going along with that. And then, you know, you may feel that lower back and mid back a little bit from those back extensions, so we're, we're really working on strengthening those muscles in the back. All right, let's go kneeling hip left or tricep, right knee down, left foot forward, bring the right hand towards your back, grab the elbow, want to put, get nice and tall, Push the right hip forward, slight bend to the left. So our left leg should be relaxed. Weight is on the left heel. Nice deep breaths. All right, now let's switch. So we're gonna press it back. Left knee down, right foot forward. Weight's on the right heel. Left hand back, grab the elbow, press the hip forward, slight bend to the right. I'm pushing that left knee to the left, head up, chin up, good posture. All right, 
reps. Take it down. Splits with the side. Leg. So, legs out wide. All right. Arm over the ear. I'm going to pull those toes back. Deep exhale. Let our ribs come down to our thighs. Forehead toward the shin. I'm going to squeeze this top shoulder blade back. So the elbow is up. So I'm getting that stretch, some lats, some oblique, some lower back, some hamstring. Let's take it to the other side. And nice deep breaths. Squeeze that top shoulder blade back, pull your foot back. All right, reach down the middle, inner thighs. Draw the abs in, walk those hands out front. After you exhale, walk those fingers out a little bit further. Let your torso sink towards the floor, chest to the floor. Breathing into those inner thighs and lower back. All right, let's bring the feet together. Hold the right foot back, quadricep stretch. Right. So we're going to lean back onto the left elbow. Pushing that right knee down, or we can lift all the way back. Again, nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Each time we exhale, we want to let tension go, allowing our body to stretch out. Last deep breath. All right, let's bring it up. Let's switch left side. Let's pull the left foot back. Knees are close. Lean back on the right elbow. Pushing that left knee down away. Or if you've got the flexibility, go ahead and lay all the way back. And we're still pushing that left knee toward the floor. So exhale through the mouth. Let all that tension go. All right, now we're going to sit on up. Low back stretch. So today we're going to lay out in front, cross over, nice and tall through the spine, and twist. Or we can actually get into the hip a little bit more, a little bit harder to do, pulling that foot in. So still cross over, all right? And then twisting here, showing you nice and tall through the spine and the torso. And twist. And as you exhale, we turn into that stretch more, looking over the back shoulder. All right, let's unwind and switch. Up nice and tall. I'm looking over the back shoulder. I know. Well, all that air up to the diaphragm gives us more room to twist. Last deep breath. Look over that back shoulder. All right, 
legs out in front. Nice and tall, chest moving forward, reaching forward, pressing the tailbone back, getting that good stretch of those hamstrings. Again, nice deep breaths. Each time you exhale, we want to sink deeper into that stretch. Take a couple more breaths. 